Okay, this is a quick video going over the uh, GF400, top fin GF400 corner filter, the stock filter, and a mod you can do it, do to it. Um, I have a single Garami. I was actually able to get a female. You can actually tell by how round her dorsal fin is on the back. Um, but one th a couple things I want to show. This is the filter itself. On the front, there's these big intakes. And as you see, I have that intake cover with some uh, filter floss. That is because the Garami has a special pelvic fins that sort of work as arms or basically work as feelers. So, and I don't know if they grow back and I definitely don't want my fish to get hurt so I covered the front ports. Now the back ports, I don't know how well you can see them, but they are still completely open. So water can go over the top. Now the big part of this is the filter material itself. With this filter you are given a filter that looks like that. It folds in on itself and it folds into a triangle. But let me show you what I did with my filter. Can you move that paper? For one thing, sitting on top of the filter itself are eight bio rocks. At least last time I counted, it was eight, three, well, seven right now. I have to find one. I'm missing one. So as you can see, I have bio rocks sitting on top of it. And secondly, the filter itself, you can actually see inside I packed it full of filter floss and that is the carbon right there I cut just a third of the carbon because I don't like using carbon it's just I like using a little just to get rid of the smell and I also put some bio rocks at the very top a lot <laughs> I actually that's enough for a 30 gallon tank and this is a 5 gallon tank and those are Biomax. These are, uh, these right here, these came with my Fluval 50 and they are were already seeded. So I'm ba I basically seeded my tank. I've already had ammonias drop to zero. Nitrites are showing up. But I put Tetra Safe Start in. And I will be using that from now on. Oh crap, I'm not even getting the damn tank. But basically I just take the bio rocks, put them on top. There's enough room between the filter, the top of the filter and the lid to But there's enough room between the top of the filter and the lid for you to put quite, quite a few bio rocks especially in the back right at the crack between and uh, I also this thing has where the filter sits can actually all of it can be completely pulled apart so you can get to the power the power head down at the bottom I started out with some uh, down at the very bottom, I took it completely apart and I put uh, some material that already had back some uh, some fabric material for my fiance's beta fish. Look over there. She has a whisper a whisper I10. So that's for that's rated for a 10 gallon. Uh, but I took some, hers is completely, that's a beta's tank, and it's completely cycled. So I stole some material from it and put it down at the bottom of the GF400. Okay, let's get back to this bag. 
I put it at the bottom of the GF GF 400, so it will get sucked up. All the beneficial bacteria will get sucked up through. Now, see, I just put all those bio rocks in there. Now I'm gonna put the lid on. That's how much room's in this thing. Not a couple are sore in the way. You just gotta adjust them so the uh, the lid will fit on. Oh, that's why one standing up. Well, all you gotta do is move the little rocks around, and the lid will fit. I noticed that only about eight will fit eight to ten so don't try to go over that see and the lids completely on water coming out the front so and the thing is with that material that I have in there all it is is that blue filter floss that you see there uh, a flu ball scrubber pad the half of the no a third I cut off one of these little corners of the filter that comes with it, and that's the carbon that you saw. And that's right on the front where all the water comes gets forced out. Now, remember, when you do stuff this thing full of material, there is a tube passage that you have to keep open. So remember that. Don't just go stuffing things down in there because you won't be able to put the top on. But honestly, this is a very, very good filter, especially for a five gallon. It's actually suited. It's actually a 15 gallon pump. So it does about uh, a gallon every two minutes. So that's 30 gallons an hour. So, I mean, so this is getting cycled six times every hour. And this is just my little bedside. I have... This is my bedside. This is my fiance's bedside. And my music. I have my hospital... And my music, my stereo. I have my hospital tank. And then I always put... When I buy fish, I put it in this tank first. I have some goldfish right now because I had to completely tear this down because of ick. And I got some goldfish cycling it. Ammonia and nitrite showing up, so that's a good thing. And then lastly, is my showcase tank. My big 40 gallon, which uh, it's still waiting for nitrites to completely come down, but they are dropping. Got a uh, gourami, which has the labyrinth organ, which is basically a lung and a fish. The beta fish has the same thing. There are uh, four black skirt tetras. They are also very tough. Mollies and platies are not good starter fish. They are not strong enough. They cannot take the cycling process. These, I, this is how many fish I did have. Now there's only five in there. That's what the cycling process does to fish. If you don't have hardy, strong fish. Preferably one with a labyrinth organ because that gives them the ability to, it gives them a lung, it gives them the ability to go up. And one thing you need to know about the gouramis is when you put food up at the top, they will shoot water out of the tank. That's one thing that they do in the wild is they can shoot water, water out of their mouths up to about three inches. And the one I have in my bedside tank that little my little girl her name is Corey but uh, every time I feed her we can hear water you can actually see where some water has splashed up from her because I always put the food in right here and she's always waiting and she'll start spitting but she's not spitting she's just thrusting water and there she is she's a tiger striped garami very curious, probably the most curious grommy I've ever m come across. Show off, girl. Show those pretty colors. There you go. Let's see how her dorsal fin is. Oh, sorry. Her dorsal fin is round compared to what we know is a male. I think I'm almost out of time. 
You can actually see his dorsal fin is pointed at the back. You can see it from here. Okay, that's time. So I hope uh, that uh, everything I gave helps. Uh, so definitely don't use the filter material that you're given with your filter. Even with my 20 gallon. I have it set up so I can uh, set up other filters. I have uh, right here I have a piece of foam to completely fi uh, to filter the particulates out first. And then down in the bottom I have uh, 80... 80 gallons worth of Biomax, and then uh, some uh, blue poly pad, and to cut down on the, uh, this is a very good way to, uh, I've learned that this is a very good way to get the uh, ammonia eating bacteria, because the ammonia eating bacteria needs oxygen. Nitrite is anaerobic, meaning it does not need oxygen. So, seeing that most, a lot of this is, you see how it's touching the air, basically. But on the other side, it's always completely wet. Perfect breeding ground for beneficial bacteria. A lot of air and a lot of water. This pump runs at 120 gallons per hour. So, again six times and, it, and again this is my hospital tank so I just if I get a new filter or something I'll put it on this so it'll go ahead and stay uh, go ahead and cycle through so I don't kill any more fish because I tell you losing fish is not fun especially waking up and you have to get rid of all five of your neon tetras well that's it uh, got any questions? Comment section below. I'll answer whatever I know. But for now, that's all I got. Peace.